Hello people, welcome back to the camping shed. Tonight I'm comparing a heat exchanger or flux ring pot against a titanium pot. I want to know how long are they going to take to boil? What's the weight penalty for carrying the heavier pot? And how much difference does it make to gas consumption? So that's going to be compared to one day and multi days. What's the crossover point of weight of gas versus weight of pot? And I'm also going to be comparing it to using a windshield and how much heat is lost and is it worth always using one of these? Cheers. Okay, a few vital stats on the equipment I'm using. Firstly, I'm using a can of Hobgoblin. Cheers, guys. I'm using the OEX Vulcan stove. I really like this Alpine style stove because I've got dogs and kids around. It's got this little heat exchanger. It's fairly light, folds up pretty small. It's pretty reliable. I've got a nearly full gas, butane propane mix. The pan that's the heat exchanger pan is uh, a Primus Eta. It's not available now, but ones commonly on the market that are very similar are the jet boil flux ring pot, which is 1.5 litre, weighs 340 grams and costs around 65 pounds. What looks to be very good values is the Robins Turbo Pot, 1.2 litre, 310 grams at 24 pounds. The Primus Prime Tech, which is the replacement for this one I'm using, is 1.3 litre. That actually has two pots that weighs 524 litres. I couldn't get the weight for the one, but you can imagine that the Flux Ring one is uh, actually around 300 grams the same. That costs 73 uh, pounds. Now this Primus Et pot I'm using, it didn't come with a neoprene sleeve. I made this, but most of the modern ones do come with neoprene sleeve, so I'm gonna leave, uh, leave that in place. All the others all come with lids, so I'm gonna use that as well for speed and economy. And then the, the titanium pan I'm using to compare is from the Outkit My Stacks. So the main pan that I'm using is the 1.2 uh, litre base. This weighs 108 grams, lovely and light. The whole set together has uh, a smaller 800 mil internal pan and a 400 mil frying pan lid. So I'm gonna use that together. For the weight comparison, I'm just comparing the base weights of the pans only, which is for the Primus 310 grams and for the Outkit 108 grams. Quite a difference. Now, the windshields I'm going to be using is I normally uh, when I'm out camping, I use this type that's from MSR. It comes with a, a heat reflector base. Uh, really good. The whole thing weighs 60 grams and costs about 15 pounds. They're very commonly available. That I don't really like them, uh, but they seem to be popular. They weigh 222 grams and cost about seven pounds, these big aluminium ones. I'm going to use this tonight just for convenience, but normally I would carry this uh, lightweight aluminium one. Fantastic, so without further ado, I'm going to boil uh, 250 millilitres of water. I think that represents a third of the normal usage of 750 millilitres of boiling a day. So breakfast coffee, evening dehydrated meal and another tea or coffee, 700 millilitres uh, daily boiled. I'm just going to boil 250 each time. I'm going to do each pan uh, from cold and I'm going to do each pan with the wind blowing and we'll work out what the difference is. Cheers.
Pretty sharp. That was uh, 146. That was boiling. Wow, that was super quick with the primer. So I thought it would be longer with it being kind of thicker metal and stuff, but it took 30 seconds less. And that used four grams of fuel compared to six grams. But to be honest, the amounts of fuel are so low, I'm worried about the accuracy of measuring it. I think we're gonna to have to go on time. Okay, let's do the wind experiment. That's just a four miles per hour breeze there, and it's affecting the, the flame quite significantly. Taking a long time. Yep, yeah, just got a light rolling boil. Wow, four minutes 49 for the titanium. And before it was one minute 46. That's with a five mile an hour breeze blowing on it. And I'll switch this off. Before the gas wasn't leaking over the side and then it was blowing right over the side. That's an amazing day. Windshield in place. Ooh, gas lit. 50 mil in there. Stopwatch on. Lid on. It's getting a bit awkward. Ages. Okay, last one. Fan on. Gas on. Fan on. Stop off. Reset and go. Lay it on. Wrap that around. Nearly there guys. At least this is not as bad as the Tempeg one. Nobody came out of that alive. Wow, that was super quick this time. For the uh, the Primus it was uh, one minute, 10 seconds, super quick. You know, that's been absolutely fascinating to do. Here's all my data. So, you saw me with the jet boil earlier on. I don't bother with these. I like sometimes cook real food. Everything burns at the bottom just use a proper pan that you can actually get in there and stir things and I like this because there's a bit of a diameter at the bottom but what have we learnt? So I've learnt a really important thing that my stove you in these conditions uses three grams of fuel per minute so that's an important thing that I think everybody should learn about their stoves your rate of consumption per minute on full blast. So in these conditions the temperature in here is about 15 degrees centigrade and I've been using ordinary tap water uh, each time. And the yes, that it was proved what manufacturers claim that using a uh, flux ring or heat exchanger pan makes it about 30% more efficient. Some are claiming 50, I found uh, 30%, and that was absolutely right. But in terms of boiling 750 milliliters of water, per day, that's only the difference between 12 grams and 16 grams of fuel or there or thereabout. So to make the weight difference worthwhile, it would actually take 50 days of burning fuel. And that's not taken into account the, uh, the canister size or the weight of the canister. But in pure fuel terms, you'd have to be going for a kind of like quite a long time. Now everything changes when you drop the temperature, but every eight degrees of centigrade that the water temperature goes down, 
the uh, boil time doubles. So that's going to make a di slight difference to efficiency. However, the massive thing was the wind, and I was absolutely uh, amazed how much longer. So it was 300% more, or three times longer, with a five mile an hour breeze blowing from the side. And that's only a very, very light breeze, and you might just not bother with the windshield. So the lesson is, use the windshield ev every time. So a lightweight one, like this, well wrapped around is going to make a big difference and even with the windshield in place for using the Elp kit stove it still took around 30% longer because kind of like wind was going around but well wrapped around the heat exchanger <coughs> primus pump which has just fallen over uh, that was actually quicker it insulated it all around so I hope that's been useful don't worry so much about what pan you're using learn your fuel consumption per per minute take into account uh, temperature of the water but above all wrap the windshield round and uh, use it every single time right that's been great thanks very much don't forget to like and to and subscribe but by the way i've just gone past 400 subscribers thing you take it taken off and i'm really grateful to everybody for watching it gives me a massive amount of uh, support and uh, enjoy and really enjoy from here and everybody in the community thanks very much